All right, thanks so much, Jonathan. Breaking right now, two more people just turned themselves in to Fulton County authorities in connection with the Georgia election indictment. Of course, this is the case with former President Donald Trump right at the center of it. The first is former Coffee County GOP chairwoman Kathy Latham, who was captured in that video right there, escorting people into the election office. She's accused of allowing people to access voting machines. And David Schaefer, the former chair of the Georgia Republican Party, now both of them are accused of being fake electors for Trump. According to our ABC affiliate up in Atlanta, their bonds are set at $75,000. Well, overnight, we got our hands on these mugshots right here. This is These are the first two co-defendants to turn themselves in. Former Trump attorney John Eastman and Atlanta bail bondsman Scott Hall. Now, Trump's former attorney, Rudy Giuliani, is expected to turn himself in today. Turning himself in the day after the debate is, 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 is absolute strategy. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis says that the 19 people in the indictment have until Friday to turn themselves in. But political experts say there is a purpose behind the former president's choice to turn himself in tomorrow. So instead of news media being focused on the debate the night before, Thursday's news media will be focused on the mugshot, this fingerprinting, the turning in of Trump. I think he is taking full advantage of this idea that he's fighting against the system and that he is a victim. Trump has already agreed to a $200,000 bond. Our crew is heading up to Atlanta today to be there when Trump surrenders at the Fulton County Sheriff's Office. We're going to bring you live coverage starting tomorrow morning right here on WJCL 22 at 6. And you can always get those updates on the go by downloading the WJCL 22 News app.